Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. Today, we're making a smoky, creamy, and absolutely delicious dinner all in one skillet, which makes cleanup a breeze, which is a bonus for lazy people like me. But the easy cleanup isn't the best part of the meal. The best part of the meal is the cost. The whole meal only costs $6.26, which comes out to be 78 cents per serving. If you're new to the channel, these videos are meant for people who are truly struggling to fund their next meal, and they must make every penny stretch as long as possible. So the serving sizes are not gargantuan plate filling portions, they're a simple realistic sized portion. We started off in a large cast iron skillet over medium high heat, and then we added some cooking oil. Once the oil was hot, we added 14 ounces of chopped up smoked sausage. You can use any type of sausage or meat you like. Any leftover meat would be perfect for this dish. And if you use leftover meat, it would also make this meal cheaper because you wouldn't have to buy the sausage. Fry the sausage over medium high heat for about five minutes or until the sausage begins to brown. The caramelization on the sausage will add a tremendous amount of flavor. Once the sausage has a little bit of color, you can drain the fat if you like. I didn't. Whether you drain the fat or not, next we added four tablespoons or a half a stick of butter. Now I know it looks like a greasy mess right now, but stick with me here. Continue cooking until the butter is melted. Then add three cups of water. I know, I know. The liquid in the pan looks like leftover bath water after a wild night with a local lot lizard in the no-tell motel. And I'm not exactly sure how I even know what the bath water in a no-tell motel looks like after a wild night with a lot lizard. I guess it's just my sick imagination. So to make it look even worse, add one cup of milk. Next we added two of the cheese packets from the boxed au gratin potatoes. Now give all that a good mix and then bring it up to a boil. Then add the two bags of the dehydrated sliced potatoes. I love the boxed au gratin potatoes and we eat them more than we should. But every time I'm making them, I have to grab a chip or two to snack on while they're cooking. Anyone else do that? They're not very good, but it's just something I feel I have to do. Now give everything a good mix and bring back up to a boil. We only added black pepper. I think the salt and the smoked sausage and the processed cheese would be more than sufficient but you can always add any kind of seasonings you like. Now the directions say to reduce the heat to a simmer and cover, and then let it cook for 15 minutes. But I'm only gonna let it cook for 10 minutes on the stove top. After simmering for five minutes with the lid on, Add a 12 ounce bag of frozen California blend vegetables, which is a blend of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, and then give it another good mix. You don't have to add these kind of vegetables, you can add any kind of vegetables you like. Now if you remember when I added the water before, the directions said to add two cups of water per box of all gratin potatoes. But I only added three cups total for the two boxes. And that's because the frozen vegetables will leach a lot of water out once they begin cooking which if you added the recommended amount of water in the beginning, plus the water from the vegetables, it would be a soupy mess. Now bring everything back up to a boil, cover, and continue simmering for another five minutes. After cooking on the stovetop for a total of 10 minutes, place the skillet uncovered into a preheated 450 degree oven for five minutes or until the potatoes and vegetables are done to your liking and the top is golden brown and bubbly. 
Now let everything sit for five to 10 minutes to thicken back up before serving. And then once it's cooled a bit, it's time to eat. Now I've gotta tell you, this dish was rich and creamy with a subtle smokiness from the sausage and just crazy delicious and comforting, even with a simple moderate serving. This skillet dinner was an extremely satisfying meal, whether you're on a budget or not. All of the ingredients simply work perfect together. We finished this casserole off throughout the week. And as you can see here, I had a plate full for lunch the next day on my best china. I also made this dish again after the video was made, and now we've added it to our simple weeknight dinner routine. This is definitely a meal for you, the people, to try. Here's everything you'll need for the dish, minus the milk and the butter. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.